The Logitech MX Mechanical Mini and Pop Keys are both two fun mechanical keyboards that give you that satisfying clicking typing experience. And honestly, these keyboards are very similar, but also very different. First and foremost, the Pop Keys is only available with the brown tactile switches. The MX Mechanical Mini is available with the blue, brown, and red switches, which just allows you to have your choice between slightly louder switches and also switches that have no bumps, so they just give a smoother typing experience. Now, me personally, my favorite switch type is the brown switches, so I don't mind that the Pop Keys only comes in brown keys. The Pop Keys also comes in several very fun colors, and honestly, they're a little bit crazy. There's no black version of the Pop Keys available. The MX Mechanical Mini only comes in black, unless you're buying the 4 Mac version. But both of these keyboards are optimized for both Windows and PC, and you can compare them with multiple devices just by using the easy switch buttons that are on the top row, F1, F2, and F3 on both keyboards. To put the keyboard in pairing mode, all you have to do is press and hold the easy switch button for just a couple seconds, and then the keyboard will begin to blink, and that shows you that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. Then once you paired your keyboard to multiple devices, if you want to switch between using your Windows computer and your iPhone, all you have to do is press and hold one of those easy switch buttons for just a second, and then it almost instantly connects you to your other devices. And it's really great that both of these keyboards give you that easy switch functionality. Now the Pop Keys and the MX Keys Mini also have several different function buttons that they offer. Logitech does a great job of giving you really cool functions on the top built in, or you can also use the Logi Options Plus app to reprogram what all the function buttons do, as well as several other buttons on both keyboards. Now, the Pop Keys has emoji buttons that are on the side, and you get several different emojis that you can change them to. There's some changeable keycaps on them. The MX Mechanical Mini has a button that pulls up the emoji menu. But me personally, I don't really use the emoji buttons all that much. I honestly would rather them be the standard mechanical style buttons. Another big difference between these keyboards is the actual shape of the keys. The Pop Keys gives you a typewriter-like look and feel with circular keys, while the MX Mechanical Mini has all square keys. I actually really like the way that the Pop Keys feels when you type. They're a little bit glossier than the MX Mechanical Mini, but I find that sometimes my fingers can slip off the corners because there are no corners on the Pop Keys. The MX Mechanical Mini, it's a little bit easier to keep your fingers settled where they're supposed to be. One other big difference on the Pop Keys, you actually get the function button on the left side of the spacebar, which more closely matches the standard Apple layout. Pop Keys uses two AAA batteries and gives you up to 36 months of battery life, while the MX Mechanical Mini uses USB-C to recharge it, and you get varying battery life depending on if you're using the backlight or not. That's another big difference. You don't get a backlight on the Pop Keys. I personally really like having a backlight on my keyboard, so I definitely miss this feature on the Pop Keys. I have the brown switches on both of these keyboards, and I do find that the Pop Keys gives you a louder typing experience, even when we're comparing brown switches to brown switches. I personally find the Pop Keys to be a little bit more of an enjoyable typing experience in both the sound and the feel of the keyboard, but honestly, the MX Mechanical Mini is a great keyboard as well as far as the typing feel goes. I was just very pleasantly surprised with how nice the Pop Keys actually felt to type on. The Pop Keys is a little bit bigger than the MX Mechanical Mini, and there's no adjustable feet on the Pop Keys, so you're stuck with the angle it's set at. But on the MX Mechanical Mini, you can choose if you want it to be flat, or you have one different angle you can adjust the fold-up feet on the back, and it raises it slightly. I always use the MX Mechanical Mini with the feet down because I like the slightly elevated feel. The MX Mechanical Mini comes in at $150, and you can choose the brown, red, or blue switches, and you can also add a little bit more money and get a number pad on the side if you want the full-size MX Mechanical. The Pop Keys comes in at just $100, so honestly, the Pop Keys is a really great buy because it gives you all the same customization and features that you find in the MX Mechanical Mini, just without the USB-C recharging and without the ability to have a backlight. And it also just looks a little bit sillier because there's all these funky colors that you buy it in. And there's no black version of the Pop Keys. There is a black version of the Pop Mouse, but the black version of the Pop Keys is actually black and yellow, and it looks kind of like a bumblebee. So if you're looking for a more serious desktop setup, you're probably going to want to buy the Pop Keys in the mist color. That's what I have, and it looks okay, but it's not quite the same as buying a white or a gray keyboard. It has a little bit more of a sandy appearance to it. So my recommendation is this. If you want a more serious keyboard, by the MX Mechanical Mini. But if you don't mind the slightly more fun look, or if you're actually looking for fun colors, 
go for the pop keys because it's really no slouch in its terms of features and the typing experience. You can also always reprogram all the emoji buttons on the side to do whatever shortcuts you want. So even if you're not into the emoji buttons, just like me, you can make them do any special feature on your computer that you can think of all using the Logi Options Plus app. If you have any other questions about these keyboards, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're interested in buying the Pop Keys or the MX Mechanical Mini, I have links in the description below and I'm also linking my more dedicated reviews where we go into even more detail on both the MX Mechanical Mini and the Logitech Pop Keys.